Yeah, this is just a quick demo of how to upload images to the ECOS. I was surprised to find out there's actually, once you've logged in and you look at the local images, there's over 4,105 images uh, which are you know, specially designed for the ECOS. So, say, punching class C 47. You get all the different class 47s from around the world. You can see the, the British class 47s. So, you just say download that. Say download that file of a, a BR47 UK. Um, save file to my save file image directory on my computer. Right, downloaded file, and then I will um, just open up my ECOS. Um, so you log in, you put in your IP address on your internet browser, press return, it logs onto your ECOS, you then go to local images, you then go to user defined images, click on that. These are user defined images for um, the images you've customised uh, for your locomotives for the ECOS which I think you can store 250 let's have a look uh, 249 yeah 250 I've just uploaded a BR18 but now I'm going to upload the class 47 so I'll go diesel browse for that file uh, there's the file class 47 click on that open um, put in a description so uh, class sorry C L A S class 47 um, all you do then is press submit and then that's it image is uploaded to the ECOS and then if you go back You'll see that file there that is now uploaded in slot number one on my user defined images on the ECOS. So, if I buy a British locomotive, which I'm not gonna because all my stuff's German, but there's plenty of British locomotives uh, images out there, probably all the, the whole range. Uh, all I do then is uh, program the class 47 and upload, just select that image. But the image will only come up when you reboot the ECOS. It won't come up straight away. So that's just a bit of information there. <coughs> if anyone's wondering, quite surprised to find all that. Yeah, so now I've rebooted the device. So I've wanted to select that image and make a local up. I'll just press the spanner. Uh, new loco. Create manually. I'll go into that. Uh, information thing. So anyway, I'll go to user defined images and pull down, and you can see that image there of what I downloaded, and I could put that into whatever. I've just put it into address number three for now, and uh, save file, and that's it. So there you go. There's the image of the locomotive that you, whatever you call it, up. You have a nice little picture there. I thought, yeah, it's quite easy to do, really. It's just a nice touch. That's what another thing I like about this uh, controller. So, thanks again for watching.